So I was just having a conversation about how Mormonism started with the fact of Joseph, uh, Joseph Smith being a science fiction writer who decided that he had received a revelation from God and then started the Mormon church, deemed himself as the Messiah of that church and the Messiah of the, con of the current group of people. Now, in having that conversation, it also reminded me of the fact that L. Ron Hubbard, who was a science, science fiction writer, who decided and realized that there was more money in religion than there was in science fiction writing, and that people will believe a lie faster than they will believe the truth. And so he began the Church of Scientology. So it made me start thinking in, about the fact that everybody who says that, oh, Enoch, as somebody said in, in another uh, comment stream from a previous video, he wrote the book of Enoch. No, he's, it's, it's ascribed to him. Just as the gospel are ascribed to people who actually never wrote it. You see, the thing is, is that there is a more of a probability that Josephus ben Mathia, um, Philo of Alexandria, that these people were the writers of what became your canonized Bible. We can't even prove that Paul who wrote Paul's books. You see, there's no proof of those people who wrote those books, but the thing about it is if somebody writes a book claiming that it is inspired by God, you have no way of testing it. There was no way to test if Joseph Smith's writings were inspired by God. It, it, so he can say anything that he wants to say. There is no way of testing if L. Ron Hubbard is that was something that was inspired by God. There's no way to test it. And the fact of the matter is the all, the all does not need to come down and inspire somebody to write some words to codify it into a religion. You see, all religions are started by man. Whether it's Zoroastrianism, Islam, it doesn't matter. Supposedly Muhammad wrote the Quran. But we don't know that. Some people even say that he was illiterate and didn't know how to write. We don't know. But the fact of the matter is if you want to see the creator, the first thing you got to do is start to understand yourself and look inside yourself and see that how through the law of mentalism you create in the same way that the universe was created. The universe is a mental projection of the all. And all the laws of nature are within that projection to which we exist on this third dimensional planet. If anything, people who came before came here to teach you how to learn, how to love people the right way and how to use your logic of your brain tied in with your emotions to elevate to the fifth and fourth, fifth, and sixth levels of understanding. Go look at nature and you can understand the creator. I at least give Deuteronomy the credit of saying that the laws of God are written on the hearts of men because I don't need a book or a person to teach me nothing.